uterine atony refers to the inadequate contraction of mimetrial cells in response to endogenous uterotonic agents primarily oxytocin and prostaglandin that is released in the course of delivery uterine atony leads to postpartum hemorrhage as delivery of the placenta leaves the spiral arteries disrupted this spiral arteries passes through the mimetrial cells and while contraction these arteries get squeezed in between them uterine atony is the most common cause of severe postpartum hemorrhage accounting for approximately 80% of cases the conditions associated with uterine atony are mainly classified into three types obstetric management obstetric conditions and maternal comorbidities in obstetric management the causes are cesarean delivery induced labor augmented labor the obstetric causes are multiple gestation macrosomia polyhydramnios high parity prolonged labor precipitous labor chorioamnionitis maternal comorbidities are advanced age hypertensive disease diabetes mellitus some other causes that are associated with the uterine atony are tocolytic drugs and use of high concentration of volatile halogenated anesthetic an atonic poorly contractile uterus and vaginal bleeding are the most common findings in patient with uterine atony the absence of vaginal bleeding does not exclude this disorder because the atonic engorged uterus may contain more than 1000 ml of blood unrecognized bleeding may manifest initially as tachycardia worsening hypovolemia leads to hypotension the american college of obstetrician and gynecologist recommends active management of third stage of labor including uterine massage and prophylactic oxytocin administration to decrease the blood loss and transfusion requirement compared with expectant management oxytocin is the first line of drug for prophylaxis of uterine atony after delivery of the third trimester pregnancy the number of high affinity receptor for oxytocin increases greatly near term alternative uterotonic are more effective in the first and the second trimester of the pregnancy carbetocin is an alternative synthetic oxytocin receptor agonist carbetocin has a longer duration of action than the oxytocin eliminating the need for prolonged infusion endogenous oxytocin released from posterior pituitary gland exogenous oxytocin can be associated with the serious side effects including vasodilation tachycardia hypotension coronary vasoconstriction myocardial ischemia and rarely even death especially in hypovolemic or other hemodynamically compromised patients despite preventive measures postpartum uterine atony may occur general resuscitative measures include additional large bore intravenous assess intravenous administration of crystalloid and colloid solution and vasopressors laboratory determination of hemoglobin concentration or hematocrit and assessment of coagulation status lastly blood bank preparation of blood products for transfusion by manual compression and massage of the uterus and continued infusion of oxytocin may help to restore the uterine tone three classes of drugs are currently available for the treatment of uterine atony these are oxytocin argot alkaloids and prostaglandins argometrine and the methyl argometrine are the two argot alkaloids currently available for use both drugs are dispensed in ampules containing 0.2 mg when administered via the intramuscular route they have a rapid onset and uterotonic effect usually lasts for 2 to 4 hours bolus intravenous administration is not recommended because of the propensity to cause serious cardiovascular system derangements even intramuscular administration may cause vasoconstriction hypertension myocardial ischemia and infarction caused by coronary vasospasm cerebrovascular accident seizures and death 
Fortunately, these serious adverse effects occur rarely. Patients at greatest risk are those with pre-existing hypertension. However, sudden and marked hypertension may also occur in previously normotensive patients. Relative contraindication to the use of ergot alkaloids include hypertension, preeclampsia, peripheral vascular disease, ischemic heart disease. Blood pressure and the ECG should be monitored closely after administration, especially in the settings of hemorrhage. Treatment of ergot alkaloid induced vasoconstriction and hypertension may require administration of potent vasodilator such as nitroglycerin or sodium nitroprusside. Prostaglandin increases myometrial intracellular free calcium concentration, ultimately leads to an increase in the myosin light chain kinase activity, rarely cause bronchospasm, abnormal ventilation perfusion ratio, increased intrapulmonary shunt fraction, and hypoxemia. Common side effects are fever, chill, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. Bronchoconstriction in case of the carboprost. Carboprost or 15 methyl prostaglandin F2 alpha is commonly administered when all other pharmacological treatments have failed. The recommended dose is 0.25 mg or 250 microgram administered intramuscularly, which may be repeated every 15 to 30 minutes. The total dose should not exceed. 2 mg that means total 8 dose maximum given carboprost required refrigeration misoprostol is a prostaglandin e1 analog that has been successfully used for cervical ripening and induction of labor although it is not as effective as oxytocin prophylactic misoprostol administration reduces the incidence of postpartum hemorrhage compared with placebo a dose of 600 to 1000 microgram per rectum is commonly administered. Administration via oral, buccal, sublingual routes has been described. If hemorrhage and atony persist despite aggressive administration of multiple classes of uterotonic agents, invasive techniques must be considered. Invasive techniques include intrauterine balloon tamponade, uterine compression suture, embolization of the arteries supplying the uterus, surgical ligation of the arteries, and caesarean hysterectomy.